to your point, Hazy, about the spotlights, they're still going right now in the building, and now they're turned off as we drop the puck. And our opening faceoff brought to you by Theodore Robbins Ford. Leeson had a lot of speed going, but the pass was a little behind him as he entered the zone. Kept alive, though, out high by Mitnikoff. Johnston comes in along the corner boards, trying to work it free, and he does. Carrot scores! Sam Carrot and Anaheim has the first goal. Board. Look at the, how they are stacked up against those boards. Win a puck battle. Nice little dish there from Brett Leeson. And Carrick wastes no time. Just inside the faceoff dot. Where does he put this? He elevates it over the right shoulder of the goaltender. Tara Vinen has it taken away from him inside the line by Drysdale, who shook off the little shove and now speed through the neutral zone. Fowler drops it off. Drysdale over on the wing. a gift putting the puck on the net good rush up the ice the combination of Drysdale and Fowler just got the puck over to Vetrano and that's one that goes right underneath the right pad of Ronta who's caught halfway he's not up he's not down he's caught in the middle 125 games in his last six seasons as the Ducks win the draw and he turns still away once and the rebound flutters just wide Strom has it again. That was off a face-off win for Anaheim in the offensive zone. McTavish trying to protect the puck out high. Left it on the blue line, and now Anaheim with numbers down low. Lacombe sets it up, and Mitkikov with the finish. The first NHL goal for Pavel Mitkikov. Well, watch the zip he puts on this backhand pass. There's Lacombe. It's the give and go. Now he breaks into the middle, gets it back. Slides it across. It's an empty netter for Pavel Minchikov. Ryan Strom, nice little dish. Boy, that backhand pass was a thing of beauty. Talk about your milestone goals. First NHL goal for Pavel Minchikov. Ducks fail to get it out, however, and now Kokaniemi finds Natchez once more. His pass across, again, not in the wheelhouse, so they'll feed it back around. Natchez off the side of the goal with a one-timer that Dostal tips to the corner. A double minor for high sticking. So this could be a critical juncture in the game as Anaheim looks to hang on to the lead. Upended as the penalty has expired. Anaheim now 0 for 2 on the power play. And Gudis fell down. Creates a 2 on 1. Aho hands it off. Great save, Dostal! And he's going to the Anaheim locker room right now. Burns settles it back in his own zone. His clear broken up. Zegras, great pass to Terry down low. Walks it into the blue paint, and Ronta sits on it. Whenever they get the puck in the neutral zone, it's like they don't have a lot of time to make a decision. Brady Shea keeps it in, and Natchez from behind the net moves it back. Right point Pesci lets it go just wide. Came off the boards, and Shea tried to steer it on net. It went right to Tara Vinen, and he scores. That's a bounce. The uh, Canes get one, and Tabo Taravainen now with goals in each of the first three games this season. In period number two, and we really have. They just kept shuffling pucks towards the front of the net. So sure, that may have gone off. So touch Fowler and just kind of ramp up. I think it does. I think it goes off the shaft of the stick and up into the top corner in period number two. And we really have. They just kept shuffling pucks towards the front of the net. I'm so sure that may have gone off. So touch Fowler and just kind of ramp up. I think it does. I think it goes off the shaft of the stick and up into the top corner. Three and a half to go, second period. This one tipped through the neutral zone and tracked down by Strom. Petrano in the corner. Strom got it in front. Score! a puck down there. Watch this play by McTavish. He wins a little puck battle. Keeps it alive. Got some good support from Ryan Strom. And he's just going to pop it to Petrano. And you know, we know what a good release Frank Petrano has. And Ronta actually moved out of the net. 
Coming in off left wing was Martinuk. Burns at center on the regroup. Snaps it across. Jacob Slavin off the inside of the post. We begin the third period five on five. And the Ducks with a 4-1 lead and is batted away. Another good play by Bo Grew. Yeah, Bo Grew can win face-offs. He's an excellent defensive forward. He's earned a spot on this team, and, and he's going to play a pivotal role in the penalty kill this year. Orloff carries it back in in the dying seconds, and a one-time blast by Tara Vinen off the post and in. Did it Jackson hit? Lacombe was in the vicinity here, and he may have distracted him a little bit because you could see he was late to react to the shot, and it's high blocker. I, I think Lacombe, just at the moment that the shot was released, was just passing in in front of Lucas Dostal. It's a it's a puck that's up. Oh. Takes it the line, feeds it across. Mitnikov, great pass, and Vetrano just fumbled it. Otherwise, he might have had a hat trick. A little hot. I, I don't think the pass was sitting flat. Anaheim with their best pressure of the period. Leeson back rebound and falling to his right. Bronta keeps it out. Still loose in the blue paint and he gets the whistle. And a dangerous attempt there by Sebastian Ajo. Boy, he was down below the top of the circles. Natchez winds it up right through the logo and into the zone. Over for Bunting on left wing. He's got room. Got it across and Natchez redirects it home. It's a bad penalty for Trevor Zegers to take with a two-goal lead and five minutes to go in the period, and it costs the Ducks a goal. Beautiful feed by Michael Bunting. Natchez with a give-and-go. He just drives far post, and Bunting was able to just kind of thread the needle there, and it's, it's a tap-in. No chance for Dostal. So the last four and a half gets a little dicey for the Ducks. As now it's 4-3. Long bid by Burns, blocked by Fowler. Burns keeps it moving around the boards. Empty net at the other end. Six attackers for Carolina. Kokaniemi pinned to the boards. Loose puck to Fowler. He'll take a bid at the empty net. And he scores! From about 170 feet. And this is center cut. Here's the block I was talking about off the left ankle. You can see he's, he's laboring just a little bit, but he gets back to the front of the net. And he looked like a different guy when that puck squirted free to him. And this is right in the middle. Great finish for Cam Fowler. He gets rewarded. Troy Terry pulled the puck off the boards and got it to him. Natchez able to keep it. Knocked it out of midair. Turns back for Orlov. Across with Burns. They'll switch sides. So they can let a one-timer go. Here it is from Orlov. Blocked. Gudis, I think, got a piece of it. And McTavish pulls it off the boards. Moves it on left wing. And here's the hat trick for Vetrano. Boy, he's been very, very good. Strove Vetrano and McTavish tonight. The first player in the 30-year history of this franchise to have a hat trick in the home opener. Frank Vetrano. Gudis gets in the way of Jarvis's pass. And that's going to do it. The win streak in home openers reaches eight straight. And Greg Cronin has his first win as an NHL head coach.